Hey there, science lovers, and welcome to a Drug Design Minute. I'm Siren, and today we're delving into the world of infectious diseases as we take a look at the captivating story of the Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever, or CCHF for short. Join me as we uncover the secrets to this deadly zoonotic disease and the exciting research efforts to find a treatment. CCHF, caused by a tick-borne virus, was originally identified in the Crimean Peninsula in the mid-1940s and was later found in the Congo area. Today, it can be found throughout Africa, Asia, and East Europe. Its symptoms include fever, muscle pains, bleeding, and can lead to liver failure with an alarmingly high mortality rate. Unfortunately, medical treatment for CCHF remains limited and there isn't a vaccine or approved drug available for it. The only option is symptomatic treatment to help combat this disease. Because of this, the World Health Organization has prioritized the search for a potential inhibitor to help tackle this deadly virus. But wait, there's hope. Recent groundbreaking research has shed light on a crucial piece of the puzzle, the viral encoded ovarian tumor protease, or OTU protease for short. This little enzyme plays a massive role in countering the body's immune response by helping the virus avoid detection and replicating rapidly. The scientific community has made significant progress by identifying the structure of this enzyme. Armed with this knowledge, researchers at the Institute for Drug Discovery have embarked on an in silico and in vitro screening journey to identify potential compounds that can help fight the CCHF virus. But why is this so challenging? Well, the CCHFV OTU protease interacts with another protein called ubiquitin. The binding pocket where this interaction occurs is quite large and superficial, making it the real puzzle to find the perfect fit for a potential inhibitor. To tackle this complex problem, we have created a puzzle series to help unravel the mystery of CCHFV. The puzzle series will present several potential poses that will take inspiration from the original ubiquitin binding structure and can help researchers discover a potential inhibitor that can target the viral enzyme effectively. That's it for today's exploration of CCHF and the incredible research being done to combat this deadly disease. I'm Siren, and as always, keep exploring this wonderful world of science.